Bro, is it not blowing up? Hold, hold on, I'll, I'll get it, hold on. Hey, it's Basil. So, when I was sitting down to make this video, I feel like I was subconsciously preparing to write another installment of This Gun Slaps and You Should Use It. After all, FN Herstal borders on overrepresentation in Battlebit's arsenal, and every last one of their contributions up to this point have ranged from pretty good to the fourth horseman. But instead, we're talking about the FN F2000 the FNF in which I'm assuming stands for Final Fantasy. I think living in a country smaller than Maryland with multiple active independence movements must be the closest thing modern science has to seeing what it looked like if you put your brain through a waffle iron, since somehow the same people who brought you these decided that the best way for a speedboat to eject spent casings was to have them conga line out the front of the gun before they doubled down on the inbred pug ergonomics and gave it a Habsburg jaw. Okay, okay, I'll move on. This is the state of the F2000 in battle bit, after all. I could keep taking cheap dunks and have this thing looks, but it doesn't actually tell anyone how this gun performs in the game. Except for the sight this gun comes with. Dude, what the fuck kind of- This is the first video in this series where there isn't any pre-patch footage, so it'll be less of a before and after, and more of a general overview. This is probably gonna be true for most of these videos in the future, but in the case of the Final Fantasy 2000, it was true mostly because I didn't have the chance to get any pre-patch footage. It was buffed the day after it was introduced. I probably should have taken that as some kind of omen, but the buff looked pretty good and hey, I don't look a loaded horse down the barrel. Less recoil, faster ADS, and reload speed, an extra starting magazine, and increasing its base mag capacity to 35, hello? They gave an assault rifle, SMG recoil, and a fire rate to match. Even with a magnified optic, any single-celled organism with a mouse will have zero issues getting a stream of bullets mostly on target. Mostly. We'll get back to that later. Get close enough and you become the hard counter for anyone in decent cover, since with how easily this gun can sidestep tight angles, you might as well be collecting reparations for the Maginot. Window peaks, sandbag hardpoints, you can thread whatever needle they're eyeballing you through and you can do it at 850 rounds a minute. Speaking of hitting small targets, aiming for people's heads feels far more like an active choice I'm making as opposed to something that just happens. The F2000 is one of the easiest assault rifles to land consecutive headshots with, and as much as you'll see me aiming center mass, do as I say, not as I do. Scooping out people's brains with a steady stream of bullets is easier than it's ever been, so do it. You will get results. I know this is easier said than done, but the doing isn't really that hard, so hammering that point home comes naturally. Add that together with 35 round mags and an above average reload speed, and the F2000's looking like a pretty strong choice for a- No. 23 damage. 23. 2, 3, 23! The 35 round base mag capacity looks good, and it is! You need those 35 rounds, because you're gonna use every single one! I mean, okay, 23 damage, that's a 5 shot kill. 850 rounds per minute, that's pretty fast. A 5 shot kill is, it's not, it's not great, but it's not terrible, is it? Oh, you thought you were getting a five-shot kill. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Go, go, gadget, sappy plate. Everyone who isn't playing this game like it's Titanfall or reliving Pripyat is pulling up to the function in at least type three. Meaning outside of recon mains or people running ranger armor, unless you're getting headshots, you're looking at six to eight shots to kill. The number of whites and blues you will pick up on someone only for them to get to cover or just turn around and kill you anyway will fucking astound you. People seem to talk a lot about how many kills a gun can get per magazine. Oh, the AS Falcon get two or three. Oh, the ACR can get four if you're good. How many can the F2000 get? I don't know. Let's find out. You could get three. You could get one. You could spend half your mags and get nothing but assists. Based on what I hear about ammo prices nowadays, what I've spent trying to get kills with this thing could pay for the Greater Seattle Polycule's top surgeries. Miss Basil, how many 556 five, rounds does it take to get to the center of a support wearing EXO? Too fucking many! The good things I said before about the F2000 are still true, but being able to farm headshots isn't your ace in the hole, it's your survival strategy. Read, if you aren't in a situation where you have the drop on somebody, and even in some situations where you do, the F2000 is liable to get you killed if you aren't aiming for their heads. You cannot aim center mass and expect to win unless you pin your hopes on them fucking something up. This is not what is known as a winning strategy. Before I continue, I realize I'm falling into the trap of saying, this gun is bad because it has a slow time to kill. It does, and it absolutely doesn't help. But if you're gonna treat every firefight as a high-speed game of bloody knuckles like that, you're gonna miss out on the AUG, which has the slowest time to kill of any assault rifle and fucking slaps? Oh, oh god. But how? 
how does a gun that should be worse than the F-2000 at killing people feel, y you know, better? I'm not gonna bust out the diagrams, but the reason is something called ammo efficiency, and for those of you who don't speak sweat, that roughly translates to being able to kill someone without causing an ammo shortage. So among all the assault rifles, the AUG has pretty average, very slightly above average damage, but compared to other assault rifles with similar damage, its fire rate is bad. What the AUG has on its side is recoil, or more specifically the fact that it doesn't have any. So while landing the 4-6 to six shots you need for a kill will take a while, making sure they all hit is easy, so you can make the most out of every mag. Theoretically, at least. Look, I never said I was that good. Now some of you are asking, but Basil, didn't you say basically the same thing about the F-2000, how keeping it on target is pretty easy even at longer ranges? Oh yeah. About that. In reality, that fire rate means using any of the higher magnification medium sites will probably give you shaken baby syndrome, and you'll end up missing at least a couple of the six to eight shots you'll need to land, by which point they've already drawn you as the soy jack, and you're waiting for one of your squad mates to get out of combat. And even when the low recoil is helping, it's not that much of an advantage. Yes, the vertical recoil is low. The horizontal recoil is on par with several other assault rifles, all of which have generally higher vertical recoil, and all of which are equally capable of beaming a hole through your skull with an obscure technique known as pulling down. So at this point I was thinking, alright, well fuck, it can't compete at medium range. Maybe it's... maybe. Maybe. Use it like an SMG. Getting close, low damage, low recoil, high fire rate. That's... that's basically an SMG, right? Oh. Well, the Vector does 22 damage, and that's a good SMG, right? Right. Let me show you why. Near, far, wherever the... the... Fuck. The F-2000 is out of its depth at almost every range against almost every gun. Two, maybe three extra points of damage would make this a completely different story. But right now, the most positive thing I have to say about it is that it made going back to using almost any other gun feel absolutely busted. I know, there's some of you who are kind of upset. The F-2000 is my baby, I get it. But listen, while I believe the people that say this gun can excel in certain situations and in the right hands, when most of those situations amount to lying in a corner and when the right hands belong to the kind of person who spends two hours a day in aim lab, I think I'm justified in telling you that your baby looks and plays like its gender reveal had a body count. Hang on. What? What? When? What do you mean? I just got done recording this fucking video! Okay, so in the middle of me editing this video, along with a bunch of other assault rifle changes, they buffed the F-2000. It now does 24 damage, and its falloff starts at 75 meters. In short, it's better. It's noticeably better, but not nearly by enough to make me want to rewrite this video. So as of update 223, my feelings on the F-2000 remain unchanged. Regardless of whether or not you're on team boating accident, though, if you like this kind of video, there's a bunch of buttons you can slap down below while you wait for the next one, where I'll be taken behind the shed for becoming a recon main. Okay,